so if you watched our intro video you already learned about this collection module right so it basically has these things name tuple deck chain map counter and all okay so in this video we are going to start using this name table okay so i'll use jupyter notebook you can obviously also use pycharm uh, or vs code or whatever you can and if you don't have any one of them you can also use the default ideally which comes when you install python okay so let me show you that thing as well so if you go after installing python you will obviously see a folder called python space the version which you installed for me it's python 3.8 and then you will get this ideally you can also write all the codes inside this ideally okay this is the python basic ideally which already come with the python module okay we, when you install python on your device okay so i'll use jupyter notebook so i'll just write over here uh, shift plus right click and then we will get this open powershell window here and just click on it and i'll write jupyter notebook okay and if you want to know how to install Jupyter Notebook, you can just simple uh, YouTube that thing. Okay, in YouTube there are so many videos on how to install Jupyter Notebook on your device. Uh, then I'll just create a new Python file and yeah, I'll name it collection module. Okay, so I already told you that collection module is built in on your Python. You don't need to install it manually, right? So to import collection module, you just need to write import uh, import collections okay that's it let me just show you that if i run this cell you can see there is no error i didn't install collection module manually okay so it is built in in python so since we are we will use uh, this name table in this video so we don't need collection modules totally right so we can just write over here from collections only import the name tuples okay so import named tuple okay that's it so you can see it didn't throw any kind of error and now here i'll just write so before writing name table let me tell you what is actually name table so if you write normal tuples you know that tuples contains like a value which has only indexes right so whenever you call something you have to call by index right but if you use name table every value will have a name okay so instead of calling with the index you can directly call with the name okay so let me go into the documentation you can see this is the name tuple uh, documentation and for name tuple you first need to set one variable which contains the name which you will gonna use uh, every time okay so for example i'll just uh, make a variable called uh, x and that will be nothing but the name tuple and inside the parenthesis we are going to write uh, courses and then a comma and then if you, you can also write it inside the list you can see over here it uh, they wrote inside the list or you don't need to write the list as well you can directly write a single quotation then the names which you are going to use for example i have uh, some like a uh, data of course name and course language okay so i'll just write over here name and comma and then a language or something like that okay so now if you uh, want to use this name tuple obviously when you create a tuple you just create one more variable that contains the tuple right so similarly here also you just need to create a tuple for example that is t and that will be nothing but the x okay so x is uh, the variable where which contains the names right so x then parenthesis and then you know you can just write the name and the language so i'll just write over here the name is assume uh, machine learning or data science okay data science and then we have the language that will nothing but the python right so now in case if i just print t you can see that it is a course and the name is data science and the language is python so this data science and python is initialized with a name okay so the name is uh, the for the first one it is name or and the second one it is language okay you can just change it with anything for example it is technology now if i run it you can see now it is changed with technology right so in this way you can use this name tuple okay and now there are a few more things you can do with this name tuple you can just go into the documentation you can see there is make then there is as for example if you just convert 
uh, this thing into a dictionary because it's kind of looks like a dictionary right because you can see the name is the key and data science is the value similarly the technology is the key and python is the value of that right so for that you just need to write uh, this underscore then as dict and then the parenthesis okay so let's do that as well so yeah you can see after painting t if i just write over here t dot underscore as dict and now if i run it yeah now you can see uh, the normal t is this thing the name tuple right but uh, when i write this as dict now you can see it is a order dictionary okay now it is a dictionary similarly if you if if you have like multiple values in a list you can also use the make uh, comment okay so this one so if you have values as a multiple lists you can just use this uh, underscore make okay let me show you that thing as well so yeah i'll just write over here uh, for example we have a list i i'll just name a variable called l and that contains uh, you know database okay yeah database management system or i'll just write over here dbms okay and the language for that is assume sql okay and now if i want to use this list as a tuple we just need to write over here print uh, because we already initialized the name tuple as x so we just need to write x then dot then underscore make and inside the parenthesis we have to pass the list that is l right so now if i run it you can see it contains name is dbms and technologies sql so you can also use a list as a name tuple okay 